Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Mankiewicz, and I'm joined right now by a very special guest, Pixar's John Lasseter, the Academy Award-winning director of the animated films Toy Story 1 and 2, A Bug's Life, and the upcoming feature Cars. John, thank you so much for being here. Oh, I'm glad to be here, Ben. John has agreed to co-host a month-long festival for us devoted to one of the most acclaimed animators working today, Hayao Miyazaki, the Japanese anime legend who celebrated his 65th birthday today. And we're going to honor Miyazaki every Thursday this month with a nine-film festival of his work. We begin with the movie that made Hayao Miyazaki an Academy Award winner, Spirited Away. Uh, before we talk about Spirited Away, John, uh, first of all, tell us about your relationship with Miyazaki, how that came about. Well, I've known Miyazaki for about 20 years. We were, um, I was a young animator at Disney, and a producer he was working with brought all of his animators and directors over to Los Angeles to learn the American style of animation. Right. And he had just finished his first feature film. It was Lupin the Third, uh, Castle Cagliostro, mm -hmm. which is a terrific, it's like almost like a, a James Bond, you know, kind of, kind of film. And it's based on a, a Japanese comic book. And it was unbelievable. What a sense of humor and a sense of character. Right. That's the thing that, that really drew me to his work. And then we flash forward to, to 1987. I was working with computer animation. I finished my second uh, short film called Bread's Dream. And I went over to Japan. And, and by 1987, Miyazaki was at least making a, a big name for himself yes. in Japan, though not yet in the he, States. He already had his, his own studio, Studio Ghibli. Right. And he was busy at work on uh, My Neighbor Totoro. Right. And I walked in, and everybody kept warning me. <laughs> Miyazaki hates computer animation. <laughs> right. Okay. He hates computer animation. Right. He's just hand-drawn animation. He hates it, right? And so I, I showed him Luxo Jr. Right. and Red's Dream. And at the beginning of Red's Dream, he's watching it. And then he literally stops it, backs <laughs> it up, looks at it, keeps playing back and forth at the beginning of it. And then he kind of ran away to his desk, <laughs> came back with this drawing of this flying machine. He said, could you do this in computer animation? And I said, oh, sure, that yeah, would be yeah. perfect. Yeah, I could, yeah. like, anything you thought about? Oh, and he kind of <laughs> put it away. And everybody at the studio was like, that's the first time he ever, you know, showed interest in computer animation. And, and so every time I, I would go back to Japan for the publicity of Toy right. Story, A Bug's Life, Toy Story 2, I would make sure and visit him. And our friendship got so strong that the first screening of Spirited Away outside of Japan was at our studio, Pixar Animation right. Studios. And Miyazaki-san um, and his producer, Suzuki-san, asked me to help them with the English language dub of the right. film. So it, it was much more than simply translating Japanese words into English and getting an American actor to read them. Well, what we do is, first thing, I like to know exactly what's being said on the screen. So we have a word-for-word -word translation, even though the, you know, the words might be mixed up in the sentence, but to try to understand exactly what's going on. And there's a few things that are very, very interesting, because in Spirited Away, when the, the, the people work in the bathhouse, right. Their names are taken from them by the right. woman who runs it, right? And they're given them, their names that they have actually describe what they do. Right. And so, but they're, but they're the Japanese names. And so, so we're sitting there, should we call, you know, the, the, the boiler man, the boiler man, or call him by his real character name? Right. We didn't know. And so I called over to Japan and talked to, to Miyazaki-san. I asked him, and he said, I think for American audiences to really understand the story of Spirited Away, I think they all need to learn Japanese. <laughs> and I said, Miyazaki-san, I'm sorry, that probably won't ha yeah. happen that way. So he goes, just, John, I trust you. Just do what you think is right. And so. One final question about this movie. You mentioned it when you were setting it up a little bit, is that when I think of animated movies in the States or, or anime from Japan, somehow you never think about having such developed characters or such a rich story. And that's what really isn't makes it? this movie remarkable. Yes, yeah, Spirited Away is, I think, one of the best motion pictures. It's one of the most original motion pictures. And what's, what's interesting is Hayao Miyazaki has a reason for making every one of his films. Right. And the reason for making Spirited Away is, is that he has a dear friend who has a young 
daughter, early teens. Right. And he sat and watched this girl and all her friends, and they were the most apathetic group of people he'd ever seen. <laughs> they just didn't care about anything. Right, sure. And he was like, he saw this and he goes, I want to make a film for these girls. <laughs> right. Right? And that's where the story came from. Is if you when you watch this film, the beginning is this girl just she's moving new, to new town and she just doesn't care, and through the adventure that she goes on, she has to learn responsibility in order to save her parents. All right, that's quite a sell. Here it is from 2001, the original Japanese language version of Hayao Miyazaki's Spirited Away. 